in this question we need to find the current passing through the zener diode so let's consider this current is high is it and current passing through 500 ohm is i 500 and current passing through 200 is i 200 okay and they have given that breakdown voltage of zener diode is 10 volt which means the potential difference across this zener diode will be 10 volt if you look at carefully then this 500 ohm is also connected in parallel with this zener diode so two ends of 500 ohm is connected with two ends of the zener diode so the potential difference across this 500 ohm is also equal to 10 volt now the total potential difference is 20 volt so the potential difference across this 200 ohm will be 20 minus this 10 okay so this will also be equal to 10 volt now we know the potential difference across each and every component and we specify the current also so using this potential difference let's try to figure out the current so first i'll find the current passing through 500 ohm that is high 500 so this we can find using this expression v by r based on ohm's law here v is 10 volt i is 500 so we'll get 1 by 50 ampere in the same way we can find current passing through 200 ohm v by r in this case v is 10 and r is 200 so we'll get 1 by 20 ampere now if we see the current directions then here we have i 200 from here some portion will go to zener diode i z and remaining portion will go to 500 ohm so i 500 so if we apply kirchhoff uh, junction rule or kirchhoff current law then uh, we can write that the incoming current uh, towards the junction will be equal to the sum of outgoing currents so i 200 will be equal to i 500 plus i z so we want i z i z will be i 200 minus i 500 so let's find out by substituting i 200 is 1 by 20 i 500 is 1 by 50 so this will become 50 minus 20 by 1000 which is equal to 30 by 1000 ampere this can be written as 30 milliampere yeah so option 3 is the correct answer 30 milliampere current will pass through the zener diode